In the last video, we learnt that Radha Krishnan stresses on the need of balanced growth. This can be achieved by the study of literature, philosophy and religion. Literature teaches us that human emotions the world over are the same. Literature sensitivizes us to the feelings of others. The more we read the works of great writers, we learn to empathize and sympathize better. Philosophy develops an attitude of life. It prevents us from getting confused by people's behavior and the turn of events. With a larger view, we develop a deeper understanding and live wisely. Through religion, we learn to be dutiful and not, fall and not fall into the worldly trap of greed, lust and avarice. All these form a foundation of integrity and we go about our life while we follow the worldly pursuits. If this country has survived all the changes and chances it has passed through. It is because of certain habits of mind and conviction which our people, whatever their race or religion may be, share and would not surrender. The central truth is that there is an intimate connection between the mind of man and the moving spirit of the universe. We can realize it through the practice of self-control and the exercise of compassion. These principles have remained the framework into which were fitted lessons from the different religions that have found place in this country. He talks about the richness of Indian culture which is deeply ingrained in our minds through centuries. Looking back in history, when we see how despite of so many invasions and a variety of rulers from varied clans and regions following different religions have ruled over us, we have not betrayed our Indianness. We have always been flexible and open-minded. We have always accepted and respected their differences and eventually made them one with us. This has only been possible because of our rich culture and our deep-seated practice and faith in it. The ultimate truth is that there is a very deep connection between the human mind and the spirit of the universe. You are the creator of reality and yet you have no idea how you do it. The process is effortless. When you see light gains its brightness, when you listen, air vibrations turn into audible sound. The activity of the world around us in all its richness depends upon how you relate to it. This profound knowledge isn't new. In ancient India, the Vedic sages declared Aham Brahmasmi, which can be translated as I am the universe or I am everything. They arrived at this knowledge by diving deep into their own awareness where astonishing discoveries were made. We too can practice it. Today we explore reality through science, but in the past we did it through meditation, self-control and compassion. These principles are the base of Indian philosophy. This is the one and only reason that all the religions have followers in our country. It has been possible only because of our attitude of openness and tolerance. 
our history is not modern it is like a great river with its source back in silence many ages many races many religions have worked at it it is all in our blood stream the more indian culture changes the more it remains the same the power of the indian spirit has sustained us through difficult times it will sustain us in the future if we believe in ourselves it is the intangibles that give a nation its character and its vitality radha krishnan talks about our ancient culture and civilization no one knows how old it is that is why he says its source is back in silence our civilization and culture has evolved over many ages many centuries many races have contributed to make it what it is with their religions and their beliefs incorporating into ours as they blended with the indianness this richness is now in our blood stream our dna our genes there is a very unique quality of our culture as more and more people blend in with their own lifestyles and faiths the more rich it becomes and yet does not lose its indianness it still remains the same its character of openness and tolerance does not change indian culture accepts and respects differences with a very, which is a very unique quality of our culture this unique quality can be found nowhere in any other culture it is this trait of our civilization which has sustained us through all the invasions and wars and it will sustain and it will still do if we believe in our indian culture have faith in it follow it and not be influenced and brainwashed by the west this is what the british did to us they realized they could rule they could rule over us only if they attacked our in rich culture and they did it by brainwashing through the system of education before long all the youths started despising all that was indian the english uprooted us from our indianness and to this day we are paying a heavy price for it the strength of character and maturity of the mind are not seen as material things but they alone enrich any civilization they may seem unimportant or even irrelevant under the pressure of daily life our capacity for survival in spite of perils from outside matched only by our own internal feuds and dissensions is due to our persistent adherence to the spirit if our young men are to live more abundantly they should enter more fully into the experience and ideals of the race they should be inspired in their minds and hearts by the great ideas enshrined in our culture in our day to day lives we don't seem to feel the need for all this we take these qualities for granted but it is only the strength of character integrity and deeper level of maturity the qualities that are needed to cope with our failures our setbacks so that we may not lose perspective or fall into depression and follow the wrong path if our youth today 
wants to live a full life they should not neglect or look down upon our rich heritage india has an incredible diversity between languages geographical regions religions traditions and social stratifications we place a high value on harmony and unity with others a unified and interdependent community or family provides a strong support system that an individual can rely on daily we trust in our society for help and assistance loyalty and assurance provides security and confidence we emphasize on humility and preservation of our collective reputation dignity and honor we uphold our duties responsibilities and obligations willingly there is a sense of acceptance towards one's position in life or a belief in the theory of karma our past sorry our present based on our past deeds the interplay of these social cultural and religious factors allows people to be accepting of life events and trajectories this does not mean they are unwilling to take responsibility many often contemplate how their actions may impact their future and make decisions accordingly diversity in india is celebrated in a way indians indians are one of the most adaptable and creative people they manage problems cheerfully in a cooperative and innovative manner along with a light hearted attitude towards situations that might be frustrating diversity pride innovativeness adaptability harmony modesty and lightheartedness are the traits of indian culture the youth should accept it with open arms enrich themselves by learning more and more about our rich culture and heritage our culture is full of great men and sages of every age to inspire us to guide us to keep us on the right track to not make us unnecessarily materialistic or greedy to focus on the uplift of our character and souls to evolve and become better human beings